our study stemmed from a debate. We know that diabetes is one of the most important risk factors of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and is associated with more severe liver disease. Therefore, the ESO recommends routine high-risk patients to screen for NAFOD. However, the ASLD has a different attitude towards screening. To resolve this controversy, we decided to conduct a study. From 2013 to 2014, we used transient elastography to screen more than 1,900 patients with type 2 diabetes. Using controlled attenuation parameter and liver stiffness measurement, as well as the M-probe and the XL probe we were able to estimate liver fat and fibrosis in more than 90% of the patients. Overall, 73% of the patients had high cap values, suggestive of fatty liver. This figure was what we expected from a diabetic population. More importantly, high liver stiffness, suggestive of advanced fibrosis, was observed in 18% of the population. When we performed liver biopsy in our subset of patients, half of them were confirmed to have advanced fibrosis or cirrhosis. Even though many diabetic patients have severe liver disease, the high volume of patients makes it unrealistic to screen every one of them. Therefore, when selecting patients for liver assessment, doctors may consider specific factors such as the duration of diabetes, high body mass index, decreased HDL cholesterol, high ALT level, and albuminuria. These factors all turned out to be independently associated with increased liver stiffness, as shown in our study. Our study confirms that fatty liver, advanced fibrosis, and cirrhosis are common in diabetic patients. These patients may benefit from future pharmacological treatment and those with cirrhosis should be screened for hepatocellular carcinoma and viruses. We therefore concur with the ESO that fatty liver screening is worthwhile in high-risk individuals.